So, here we go then. Sevilla against Paris Saint-Germain. It's John Champion with you today, and alongside me, top analyst Jim Beckley. So, we're off then. Sevilla against Paris Saint-Germain. He's got possession now, maybe a chance. Alex. Ibora. Ibrahimovic on the ball. Marco Verratti has got hold of... Well, for me, he had a very decent crack at it, but it has to be said that the odds on those from distance were never really that good, and he'd always favour the keeper in that instance. Vital interception there. Ibrahimovic looking to play on the break. It's on for him. He hits it. He misses. Only narrowly, though. Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer, and he had to think a little bit more about that. In the end, he's just opted for raw power. Thumps it long. Neat ball through the middle. Oh, he's lost out there. Cavani. Here's Ibrahimovic. Oh, that's a neat escape. He so nearly exploited that mistake. Oh, he did really well to force the mistake by pressuring. A foul. A fairly easy decision for the referee. The referee shows him the yellow card. Didn't go for the ball, just took the player out might consider himself a tad lucky not to see red. That was totally unnecessary. He needs to realise what he can and can't do before he makes decisions like that. The ball played through the middle. Incisive pass, that. A chance to counter-attack here. The ball is with Rakitic. Yeah, the defence had him exactly where they wanted him there. Didn't even give him the space or, or the room to turn. And I think if they can keep him facing the other way, then his threat becomes a much lesser issue. Launches the ball forward. Making good progress down the left, but frankly, devoid of options. Rakitic will drive this corner in. Pastore. Here's Lavezzi. Played through the middle. Now through to Ibrahimovic. It's a fine save. Thiago Motta will swing one in. And a skillfully directed header. Oh, so close. And that is one very relieved man between the sticks. There was no way he was going to get to that, and he knows it. Ibrahimovic has robbed him. Van der Veel. Now Pastore. Goal in sight. Ibrahimovic. Looking for width. The whistle goes to signal the midway point of this game. So, it's nil-nil. Let's hope for a goal or two in the second half. The whistle goes for the second half. A crucial intervention there. Ross is aimed towards the far post. Well read by Alex. Federico Fazio. Now Rakitic knocks it through. Marco Verratti. 
Now through to Lebetsi. Lebetsi gets the ball in a nice position. Ibrahimovic makes a run through the middle. Really well saved that. Well, that's what the fans pay their money to see. Exceptional skill from a class player. Such a pity about the end result. Some hopeful faces waiting in the middle. Rakitic. Slickly done that. That's a threatening through ball. Seems they weren't quite reading from the same script there. Thiago Motta. Ibrahimovic. The ball has crossed the line and it's a throw. They've got another throw in. Federico Fazio. Marco Marin. He takes him out. Ibrahimovic. And he's still going. Oh, that's delightful. Ibora. He did well to get it. What next? What a reprieve that was. Alex plays it long. Lebetsi shoots. Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split-second decisions, and sometimes they just make the wrong one, and I think he would have been better placing that. The final whistle is approaching, and the scores are level. Are we going to see a winner here? Rakitic. Van der Veel. Rakitic, the clock counting down. Well, maybe they're settling for what they have because they're not going to score from there. The linesman's kept his flag down. It's a good hit, and he hit the bar. And that will be the final piece of action as the full-time whistle goes. Well, despite the scoreline, this one hasn't felt like a nil-nil to me. It's really ebbed and flowed and thoroughly enjoyable. I think both sides were playing for this towards the end. Exhaustion levels have pretty well reached the maximum. This is where players' concentration is really tested in this combination of nervousness and fatigue. Cavani. He ran into trouble and the free kick's been given. Yep, referee's gone to his pocket. It's a yellow for a fairly careless challenge he didn't really have to make. Could have been another colour too. Certainly some sections of the crowd think red would have been more appropriate. Play surges forward. That's probably caused a few sighs. Oh, what a great individual effort that was. Lovely close control, good balance. A shame he just couldn't add that finish. Rakitic. Wonderful through ball over the top. Shoots here. Good stop by the keeper. Well, that's understandable because they haven't found it easy against this defence. And shooting from that sort of range, it's not the answer. Rakitic is the player to take it. And they escape imminent danger. Okay. We are entering stoppage time. And with that, we come to the end of the first period of extra time. Well, I think for both sets of players now, fatigue becomes your biggest opponent. You know, when the body gets tired, the mind usually goes with it. Concentration levels are difficult to manage now. Are we finally going to see the deadlock broken on what's been an incredibly frustrating occasion? And that's been intercepted. The 
ball is with Lavetti. Good ball, right down the middle. Beto has been fouled. Betsy's got it. Shoots here. Really good try, but no goal. Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split-second decisions, and sometimes they just make the wrong one, and I think he would have been better placing that. Here's Lavetsi. Lavetsi shoots. He carved out a pretty presentable chance. Well, he knew he needed a better angle to get a shot away, and at least he showed the best option. It just didn't come off. Oh, that was a lovely little dummy he used to deceive everyone there. And create... Three shrill peeps of the whistle, and this match is going to penalties. Well, it's hard to believe we didn't get a goal in that 120 minutes because it was a lot better than nil-nil. But we're going to get a couple now in this penalty shootout. Well, those that don't understand this great game will think, why on earth have they bothered with the whole of the proceedings? Two hours of football, it can't find a winner, so it goes to penalties. Calmly, precisely, he puts the ball down. Everyone in the stadium holding their breath. Now this is real pressure. His job to get their five penalties off to a good start. Will he find the net? Struck with some authority. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. He made it, it's 1-1. One, one. That's a good start and a great, great penalty to make it one each. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. And he's fluffed it. Putting this penalty away for a two-goal lead would give them a real psychological boost. Oh, brilliant stop. I think the keeper's done really well to save that. He deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. A natural leader showing plenty of composure. The skipper stands up to the challenge. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. And the shot with the goalkeeper rooted to the spot. barely moved a muscle he was stranded he places it on the spot steps back pauses looks fairly relaxed but his heart must be beating like crazy talk about being under pressure if he misses this his team loses it's as stark as that it is in they're still in the game he's missed it the pressure now shifts to the goalkeeper he needs to keep this one out to stay in the match the kick decided the game they did well to hang on for the shootout but maybe wishing they hadn't when they crumbled under the pressure look it's never nice for the losing team but that's the excitement of a penalty shootout for you someone's always going to suffer